asking today. The judge in former President Donald Trump's Georgia election interference case has ruled that Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis can stay on the case as long as Special Prosecutor Nathan Wade steps down. That's right, but the ruling also means a trial is not likely to happen anytime soon, which itself is a victory for former President Trump, who would like this whole matter pushed until after November's election. Atlanta News First reporter Rebecca Schramm kicks off our live team coverage on these breaking developments. A busy morning, Rebecca. Fawny Willis gets to stay on the case, but she is certainly facing a lot of hurdles now in this landmark case. Yeah, that's right, Rick. You know, you were right. Uh, defense attorneys will most certainly appeal the judge's ruling, which will drag out the case even more. But what the judge wrote in his ruling could provide ammunition for outside groups that want Fonnie Willis to be punished in other ways. In his order, Fulton County Superior Court Judge Scott McAfee, seen here in a previous hearing, acknowledged an appearance of impropriety, but he said he found no actual conflict of interest with District Attorney Fonnie Willis trying the racketeering case against Donald Trump and his co-defendants, despite her relationship with Nathan Wade, the special prosecutor she hired to lead the case. In his order, McAfee writes, this finding is by no means an indication that the court condones this tremendous lapse in judgment or the unprofessional manner of the district attorney's testimony during the evidentiary hearing. McAfee did call out Willis for repeatedly making, quote, bad choices, noting that although she can remain on the case, she's not off the hook with other entities like the Georgia State Ethics Commission, the State Bar of Georgia, and the Fulton County Board of Commissioners, which have other other sets of standards. He writes, reasonable questions about whether the district attorney and her hand-selected lead special assistant district attorney testified untruthfully about the timing of their relationship further underpin the finding of an appearance of impropriety. So how is Trump's Georgia attorney reacting? Steve Sadow posted a statement that says in part, we will use all legal options available as we continue to fight to end this case, which should never have been brought in the first place. Another thing we want to mention here, the judge in his order practically invites the defense to submit a motion asking him to require Willis to not uh, discuss the not discuss the case any further in public. So we fully expect that to happen. We'll be watching. We're live at the Fulton County Courthouse. Rebecca Schramm, Atlanta News First.